think I started to believe that I can play in the National Football League after my freshman year of college. Um, I had a good year, and then I really started getting strong that offseason. And it was the offseason I lost my mother, too. So I think as a 19-year-old, I was really, really forced to grow up very quickly. In all the distress and drama and pain that I was feeling, I just put that into ball. I just lifted harder, I ran harder, I worked on all of that. I just wanted to never have any idle time to think about the pain that I was in. And I poured all of those emotions into ball and I really, in my mind, believed that I could play at the next level at that point. I never would say that I was the best. I never would say that I'm the best now or, or then. I, you know, I, I, just, I just think as, as an athlete, you don't ever have to talk about your ability because it's on TV. It's for the world to, to look. If you're the best, everybody will know that you, you are the best, and that's kind of been my mindset. I think I had a, a game at Texas A&M, nationally televised game, Brett Musburger. It was like uh, the, the big the big game on Saturday, and I had three touchdowns in the game, and one that I, I should have had four touchdowns before instant replay I, that I scored at, at the, right before the end of half that they didn't get to me, but it was my true coming out party. That's kind of where my, my Heisman campaign started really catching some steam, um, and. I would say that's probably like, that was the launching pad for me. The commitment that's required to, to be in a team setting, the sacrifices you have to make, you know, getting up to practice, it means you gotta get to sleep early. All the things that you have to do, I think are applicable to what you wanna do post playing career. That, that matter, no matter if it ends in high school, college, or professionally, I just think those lessons that you learn while you play football, they help you. Um, you know, you're gonna get knocked down that doesn't mean you lay down, you get back up and you continue to pursue the goals that you have. And that's gonna happen in life. You know, you're gonna lose jobs, you're gonna lose family, um, you're gonna face adversity, and um, it's important that you continue to push yourself through it. As Soon as that, that clock strikes zero, and you come in that locker room after a win, and everybody's just so happy, and the guys in there hugging, and all the hard work that you put in that week, and the film study, the 80 hours you, you put in for that week, it just, it, it makes it feel special. You go home and you have a nice dinner and you wake up and it's time to get back to it again and prepare for the next one. But for that 24 hours though, I mean, you're on, you're on cloud nine and that's a, that's a feeling that uh, I know when I'm done, I'm gonna I'm miss that. Well, life in general, I'm, I'm 35 years old. I have, a, I have a long way to go. I'm learning every single day. I'm trying to improve as a, as a father, um, as a brother, as a son. Um, in every aspect, I'm trying to improve. And, and that's the same way in football, I'm trying to you know, improve myself while also, you know, help Christian be the best player he can and help Trent Sherfield be the best he can, and help David and Chase and Kyler, just try to help mold them, you know, to be the kind of players they all want to be and, and the kind of men they want to be. And I think that, um, that's kind of my role at this point in my career to try to get us to get back in the playoffs and have a chance to hoist that Lombardi trophy at, at one point. Nobody remembers how many catches I'll have or, I mean, touchdowns or, you know, that stuff is inconsequential. Um, people don't ever forget, my Angelou said, people don't ever forget how you make them feel. And you know, if you do right, you touch people and you show a, a, a true passion and interest in people, they won't forget that.